Hi, it's Katrina. From gentle giants with blue eyes to tiny little guard dogs, here are 13 of the cutest mixed breed dogs you'd love to own. Number 13, the Pomsky. Sometimes you just want a small dog, but you want one with a bit of an exotic flavor, which is why the Pomsky is a perfect mixed dog breed for people to have as a companion. It's a Siberian Husky mixed with Pomeranian DNA, and what makes them even cuter is their fur, which can vary in color depending on the parents. It's also fluffier than most Siberian Husky dogs, which is a bonus for sure. Plus, since they're only about 20 to 30 pounds, you won't have to worry about taking care of a big dog with tons of energy. Large Huskies can pull around 3,000 pounds, but with a Pomsky, you get the advantages of a Husky in one tiny package, and it won't pull your arm out of its socket when you take it for a walk. Keep an open mind though, because it's always hard to tell how big a Pomsky will get. While they aren't exactly the size of a teacup, remember they aren't mini Huskies, so keep an open mind and do your research before getting one. Number 12, the Aussie Door. If you're looking for a more medium-sized crossbreed dog, then you might want to check out the Aussie Door. This dog was born from the unique mix between a Labrador and an Australian Shepherd, and the results kind of speak for themselves. They're very cute dogs with a very nice fur coat that will no doubt welcome petting. Not only are they beautiful and extremely unique, but just as important is that they're actually very intelligent. The Aussie Door is really friendly and responsive to owners and their training commands. I grew up with Australian Shepherds and absolutely love them. A bonus for the Aussie Door is that they have been known to have a lot of energy, so they're very playful and will love to go outside with their owners. This could be good or bad depending on your energy level. Be ready to go on some long walks with this guy. Number 11, the Cheagle. This is a mix between a Chihuahua and a Beagle. A unique mix to be sure, but it's actually a really cute dog when you get the right combo. The Cheagle literally has the small body of a Chihuahua, which is the world's smallest dog, but adds the coloring and floppy ears of the Beagle. Can't go wrong with that, right? They don't get that tall most of the time, usually hovering under a foot, but they can get to 14 inches. They can weigh around 9 to 20 pounds depending on the dog. However, don't let the size fool you. The Cheagle has a lot of energy, and they're not afraid to show off their bark, as they're known to get small dog syndrome if you spoil them too much. They may be small, but they will bark their heads off and even get aggressive to protect you. Because of this, they can be a bit hard to train at times. In general, they are kind, gentle, and loving dogs, perfect for families. And now for number 10. But first, do you have a mixed breed dog? Let us know about your dog in the comments below. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest videos. We'd love to have you around here. Number 10, the Corgador. Want another interesting mixed breed? How about a Corgi and a Labrador? Meet the Corgador. Now, unlike the Cheagle, the Corgador can get up to two feet tall and can weigh up to 60 pounds. But that's good for the owner, as the Corgadors are known to be very loyal dogs, and they'll use that size to protect you. They can live up to 13 years and have wonderful variations. They can have the long body of a Corgi, but the chocolate color of a Lab, for example. Corgadors are also very playful dogs, and they can actually be pretty easy to train. Plus, they're very patient and kind, known for being very nice to children, which makes them great companions. I wonder if the Queen of England would ever get one. She's a huge fan of corgis, so I wonder if she would like the Corgador. Number 9, the Chug. Another small dog for you to consider is the Chug, which is a mix between a Chihuahua and a Pug, both of which are known to be pretty small dogs at times, so it should come as no surprise that the Chug can only grow up to 14 inches max. They can, however, weigh up to 20 pounds. These dogs are either extremely cute or extremely ugly, depending on who you ask. I'm more of a fluffy dog fan myself, but like I say, cuteness is in the eye of the beholder. The Chugs are actually growing in popularity because of their size. They're considered perfect for those owners who want to have a dog in their lap without it crushing them. Plus, they're actually very intelligent dogs and respond willingly to training and voice commands. Add to that, because of their heritage, they're known to be high energy and playful. Chugs are always looking for new people to meet and have fun with. Number 8, the Morky. If you're looking for an even smaller dog and fluffier dog to carry around, there's always the Morky. This is a unique mix between a Maltese and a Yorkshire Terrier. And yes, it's smaller than the Chug. In fact, its maximum height reaches to only 8 inches, and it can weigh as little as 4 pounds with a max of 8. A very small dog indeed. 
There's pluses and minuses to the Morkey that you should know about. First, the Morkey is a very kind dog, very loving and very accepting of other pets. However, because of its small frame, it can get hurt very easily and you'll need to treat the dog with kid gloves to ensure you don't hurt it while handling it. They can also get kind of shaky when they're nervous or cold, so be careful. If you can get around that though, the Morky makes a perfect pet. My mom adopted a Yorkie Poo from a shelter, which is the combination between a Yorkshire Terrier and a Poodle, and it is the nicest, cutest dog ever. If she could get him cloned, she probably would. Number seven, the Schnoodle. What do you get when you take a Poodle and mix it with a Schnauzer? You get a Schnoodle, and these cute dogs are definitely more than meets the eye. They can grow to be about 18 inches tall and weigh up to 60 pounds. They also have been documented to live for about 15 years. But the Schnoodle is gaining the attention of many people because it's a perfect multi-purpose dog. They'll sit on your lap, they'll enjoy the company of your family, and they are very smart and nice. But because of its poodle heritage, it'll also have a gorgeous fur coat and can make it a perfect show dog and sometimes won't even shed. Just as interesting, the breeding of the Schnoodle can lead to various sizes. There's even classifications of Schnoodle that are defined as miniature, standard, and giant. So if you want one, make sure you do your research on its parents or adopt an adult. Number six, the Golden Doodle. If you're looking for a slightly bigger poodle mix, then the Golden Doodle might just be for you. As you can tell by the name, this is a mix of a Golden Retriever and a poodle, and the results are very interesting. The Golden Doodle can be over two feet tall and weigh up to 90 pounds at times. Plus, this dog is an athlete and has energy to burn, which makes it well-suited for families both large and small and active people on the go. Probably not ideal for a small studio apartment. This dog will not only play fetch, it'll also swim, which you wouldn't associate at times with dogs of certain fur types. So that's clearly the Golden Retriever genes shining through. But when all is said and done, the Golden Doodle will happily get on the floor and relax the night away with the family. You get a pet and a friend all in one. Number five, the Bull Boxer Pit. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is a breed of dog that is a mixture of a pit bull and a boxer, which many would think is a very dangerous mix. After all, pit bulls are one of the most aggressive and notorious dogs in the world. Poor things have such a bad reputation. Still, when it comes to the Bull Boxer Pit, it's another story. This dog was bred by a woman named Melinda Parrish, and her experiment worked in the way that she now has a dog that is loyal to a fault, has the look of a boxer and a pit bull, and yet has none of the qualities that make them famous for being aggressive. All you have is a sweet little face. Admittedly, it is cute, and according to her, the dog named TB is a love bug, as it loves to show affection for Melinda. It's not an official breed of dog just yet, but it can be done, and you might be lucky to have one of them. Number four, the Chewini. Did you think I was done showing off Chihuahua mixes? Nope. Meet the Chewini, a mix of a Chihuahua and a Dachshund. Standing about 10 inches tall and weighing around 8 to 12 pounds, the Chewini is known to be a very high energy dog, so be warned before you get one. That being said, these dogs are also great lap dogs, which is likely why they've been growing in popularity over the years since someone first decided to crossbreed them. There are a few setbacks though. The Chewini is known to be a bit stubborn, likely due to its dachshund genes, and they have a loud and frequent bark. But because of their size, they can be very easy to handle and take care of. So whether you're looking for a companion or a family dog, the Chewini might just be what you need. Number three, the Golden Docks. Part Golden Retriever, part Dachshund, the Golden Docks might just be a mixed breed dog that everyone can agree is lavish and beautiful. Coming in at 20 inches tall at their peak and weighing about 20 to 40 pounds, the Golden Dox is meant to be a family dog. In fact, it's actually suggested for families and those who haven't had a pet before, or if you have other pets, it should get along with them just fine. However, the Golden Dox is as stubborn as it is playful. That being said, it is a loyal dog and a rather intelligent one to boot, which can be a problem though because it can tell when the family isn't paying attention to it and when it gets bored, yeah, it can be a handful. Still, between its playful and spirited nature and love of kids, it can be a great family pet. Number two, the Pitski. Another mix with a pit bull, this time with a husky to go with it. The Pitski can be a very visually striking dog. It's also one that loves the outdoors and outdoor activities, making it perfect for those who have a very active lifestyle, like a hiker or a runner. In fact, it's actually recommended that anyone who gets a Pitski be a very active person, as this dog will need to be tired out so you can get some peace and quiet. 
Plus, with its 25-inch height and around 80-pound weight, they have a big muscular body that will need the exercise. Because of how they are bred, it's said that no two Pitskis are exactly alike. As such, you can truly have a unique dog with a cute look that no one can match. Number 1. The Gobarian There are a lot of cute mixed-breed dogs, but few are as adorable as the Gobarian. This is the unique mix of a Golden Retriever and a Siberian Husky, who on their own are some of the cutest dogs in the world, or the most beautiful. And when you mix them, the results are very unique, and this dog is growing quickly in popularity. The Gobarian can actually be a bit big, about 20 to 24 inches tall, and can weigh around 80 pounds. But if the looks don't get you, the personality of the dog will. They are known to be very smart and social dogs, so much so that they are eager to please their owners. They can be a bit driven, but overall, they're very gentle spirits. And while they can be independent at times, they will be loyal to their owners and their families, and they love the companionship. This is a dog that wants to be active with its owner, and it'll follow you wherever you go if you let it. Plus, true to its heritage, it can be a watchdog and protect you or warn you should it sense any danger. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these mixed breed dogs? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!